This talk is to help you prepare for the first session of the course when it starts properly. Uh, when we begin to look at the question, who is Jesus? In this talk, it's going to be in two parts. Uh, towards the end of this first part, well, at the end of this first part, there'll be some passages for you to go and look at uh, yourself. And then when you've done that, you should come back to the second part of the talk and uh, we'll continue from there. So we're thinking about the New Testament and Jesus. What sources of theology were available to the first Christians? What was scripture? What was tradition? What was reason for them? So looking first then at what was scripture for them, clearly what was scripture for them, for the first Christians at the time of Jesus himself, was the Hebrew scriptures that we now know as the Old Testament. But as the early church grew, it, yes, it still had the Hebrew scriptures and it had all the traditions of the sayings of Jesus. And it also had op apostolic writing like Paul's letters. And gradually these became regarded as scripture and were incorporated into what we call the canon of the New Testament. So the oral traditions were written down as the Gospels and the apostolic writings like the letters of Paul. They all became part of what we now call the New Testament. So what about tradition? What tradition did they have? Well, they had the teaching of the apostles and the elders and later the bishops. But they also had worship and prayer. Their worship and their prayer was a key part of who they were. Particularly, they had the communion and the words of the communion and the Eucharistic prayers. And they had the Lord's Prayer. And then, of course, in the early days, they had people recognised as prophets whose uh, prophecies would, I imagine, have become part of the tradition of particular churches. What about reason? Well, for the early church, the way of thinking was predominantly Jewish. But we need to recognise that for the later church, their thinking became increasingly Greek after the fall of Jerusalem and the scattering of the Jewish people around the Roman Empire. You'll see more about that in Toby's material on church history. What about their experience? Well, for the first generation of Christians, their experience was of Jesus. They'd known Jesus both before and after the resurrection. And they would have reflected upon that experience. They also had the work of the Holy Spirit within them. If you remember, Jesus is recorded as saying that the Holy Spirit would help them to remember the things Jesus said. The first area of the, of the question, who, was, who is Jesus, concerns his humanity. And what I want you to do with these passages that I'm about to show you um, is to ask the question, what human activities does Jesus demonstrate in these passages? And I'll want you to write those down. And then when you you open up the second part of this talk, uh, we'll talk through um, what your results may have shown. So I want you to look at Luke 2, 39 to 52, Luke 4, 1 to 12, John 2, 13 to 17, Matthew 26, 36 to 46, and Hebrews 5, 8 to 9. So this talk ends at this point, and then you can, um, when you've read all those passages and noted down your, your findings from them, then start part two of this talk.